Hi and thank you for purchasing this template. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to edit it. Please download the zip file and make sure you unpack all the files and open up the project file. This template is compatible with After Effects, CS6 and above. So let's jump into the actual project and take a look at how to edit it. All the editable elements are inside the 00 uChange folder. This project has 46 image placeholders and 51 text placeholders and of course a logo placeholder. So let's import some media into the project and add some images, a logo file and an audio file. Just drag and drop the files into the project panel. First, let's add the logo. Double click on the logo placeholder composition and drag and drop your logo. Press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size if needed. Now let's move on to texts and images. We've added markers as wrappers in the main composition, so you can navigate easily and see the position of each text and image placeholder. So let's take a look at this scene. We have image 1, image 2 and text 2. Next, we just need to open them up in the uChange folder. Just double click to open the compositions. To add images, just drag and drop them into the timeline. To change the text, double click on the text layer and enter your own text. All the other compositions can be edited this way. Now let's take a look at the color control system. Double click on the composition to open it up. Select the color control layer and click on the effect controls panel. Choose any color you wish to change. And when you're finished, select OK. If you are an advanced user, you can change the timing of the scenes by unhiding the layers in the main composition. So click on the shy switch and now you can see all the scenes and reposition them as you want. To add an audio file, simply drag it into the composition panel. Now let's take a look at rendering this project. Select the main composition and choose Composition, Add to Render Queue. Under Output Module, choose Format QuickTime, Format Options, Photo JPEG, set the quality to 95. And remember to check the audio output box. Next, click next to output tool to choose the destination path of your file and then you're ready to render. Now let's take a look at the scalable version of this project. The scalable version is for advanced users and you can easily create your own reel. First, let's add some media to this project. And now you can choose your desired elements from the sections folder and bring them into the timeline.
double click on the logo composition to add your logo. But please keep in mind that there are two different texts for the intro of the logo and for the outro. Double click on the text to edit it. And the same for the outro logo. Now let's move on to the titles section. You'll notice that there's only one composition in this folder but you can add as many variations as you want by simply duplicating it. So select, edit, duplicate. Another thing to keep in mind is that all of these compositions have separate color pickers inside. So you can customize the colors directly from each comp by choosing the color control layer and the effect controls panel. To change the images, you will need to replace them using the replace command from After Effects. So with both layers selected, press Ctrl Alt Slash. On Mac computers, you need to press Command Option Slash. Please make sure the resolution of your images correspond to the displayed resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. And in some compositions, 1000 per 1000 pixels. So this is how you can edit and customize the scalable version of this template. Thank you for watching and good luck with this project.